Is health care a crime? Today, Texas Governor Greg Abbott directed Child Protective Services to investigate parents who provide health care to their transgender children for child abuse. What you're about to hear is real testimony from a Texas mother. Hello, my name is Karen and I am the parent of two elementary age children, one of whom happens to be transgender. By the time you hear my story, my family will no longer be residents of Texas, the state where my husband and I were born and raised. Like many other families of trans kids, we have left Texas to protect our children because our politicians' actions have turned Texas into a hostile environment that makes children less safe. I imagine the Child Protective Services community wants to help the children of Texas. But let me tell you how it's been going. My children are nine and 10 years old. Since CPS began these investigations, my kids, for the first time, have experienced the anxiety of living in an insecure home, wondering what to do if a CPS agent shows up at their school and so missing class events to meet with lawyers. On our way to get a donut, my daughter asked me if she was going to die. No, you're not going to die, I told her. Why would you ask me that? Her answer? Because everybody here hates me. It's no surprise that many of these politicians who push these policies don't know how to best support trans kids. But these politicians have heard hours of testimony from doctors, therapists, social workers, teachers, parents, even trans kids and adults themselves. They have had first-hand research presented to them, proving that the best way to support trans children is to provide them with medical and social-emotional support that affirms their gender identity. It's forgivable to not understand how to care for trans children, but to knowingly withhold best practice medical care is criminal. These investigations are tearing families apart. Four days ago, my children stood on our front porch and hugged their grandparents, aunts, uncles, and cousins goodbye. The support system that enables children to live happy, healthy lives. At this very moment, movers are unloading our things into a new home in another state because of choices that the Texas government and CPS are making. Right now, you can still choose to support all children in Texas so that no one else has to leave their home to be safe. Our honest and hardworking neighbors are leaving Texas to safeguard their children, at least those who can afford to. Home belongs to families, not government. Don't let them divide us. Texans deserve better. Take action at EqualityTexas.org. Political advertising paid for by Equality Texas 501c4.